Hey everyone, it's Rock for Cash, People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a preview of week three of the FNFL. But before we get into any of that, we've got a song. Team Mazda have sent us a song tonight um, by his main man, Juice World, a song called Carry It. So let's have this playing in the background. So we have a look at uh, what's going on in week three. So week three kicks off with Rock for Cash up against Shiva Kamini. Um, Rock for Cash meant to score 95.26. Shiva Kamini 91.89. Both teams are Norton 2. Cash sitting in 13th and Shiva sitting in 14th. So if this was on television, no one would fucking watch it. Um, Cash has been hit hard by injuries. All his running, not his running backs, his wide receivers are out with um, injury as well as uh, tight ends. So, uh, and Shiva Kamini has a clean bill of health, but Cash never tips against himself. So, I think the Cash by about four points in this one. In the next game, it's uh, Battle of the, uh, the Newbies, the Newbie Cup. Herbert's only fans up against the Overlords. Uh, Herbert's only fans, two wins, no losses. Overlords, no wins, two losses. Uh, computer has this one at Herbert's only fans, 109.21. The Overlords, 102.74. I think that I think the only fans will be too strong. Um, until they lose, I'll keep tipping them. And the Overlords, until you win, I won't be tipping you. So, yeah, I think Herbert's only fans in this one. Uh, in the uh, next game, um, it's uh, Smooth Criminal taking on the dark side. Smooth Criminal 1-1 one one in 7th spot. The dark side 1-1 one one in 8th spot. So very close game. Computer has this one at Smooth Criminal 102.92. The dark side 98.76. Um, should be close. Um, I think we're going to go for uh, Smooth Criminal to win this one by about 5 points. In the next game, Brother-in-Law's Cup. We've got Moneymakers 11 up against the Browns. Moneymakers 11, two wins, no losses in third spot. The Browns 1-1 one and one in fourth spot. Uh, should be pretty close. Computer has this one. Moneymakers at 102.59. The Browns 105.12. Browns very stiff last week, coming off um, a loss after stat corrections and 155 the week before. And I think the Browns will uh, get their uh, second win of the year and give Moneymakers their first loss. In the next game, Little, Little River Giants taking on Archie's All-Stars. Little River Giants 2-0 and o in second spot. Archie's All-Stars 1-1 one one in 11th spot. Things aren't looking good for Archie's All-Stars. The Alter Boys... Uh, Obviously, their arseholes are still sore um, after last week. Little River Giants, I'm sure they're going to um, keep their winning uh, form going. Bit of a tip. I'm tipping maybe Amari Cooper might do well in this game, uh, as well as Kareem Hunt. So um, I'm tipping that Little River Giants should win this one by about 20 points. Uh, in the next game, Team Mazza taking on... Hang on one sec. Let's get juice going again. Team Mazza taking on Mitch's Mungles. Team Mazza at the moment, one and one in ninth spot. Mitch's Mungles, one and one in tenth spot. Should be a close game as well. Team Mazza, 112.66. Mitch's Mungles, 107.63. Uh, Mazza Train seems to have got himself back on track uh, last week. Uh, expect the Browns' defence to do okay for him this week, as well as Nick Chubb probably will do okay for Mitch's mongrels. But I'm tipping that uh, Team Mazza might get the chocolates in this one. And in the final game, Young Remix Killers are up against Little Waiters. YRK, 1-1 one and one in 5th spot. Little Waiters, 1-1 one and one in 6th spot. They had a great win over Shiva Kamini last week, but Shiva's on the bottom. Young Remix Killers, 97.35. Little Waiters, 90.18. Tipping Young Remix Killers to win this one. Expect good games from uh, Najee Harris and Deontay Johnson. While um, not much can be said for uh, Little Waiters. Although if Stefan Diggs goes off again, it might be a different result. So we'll just tip uh, Young Remix Killers in probably the closest game of the round. So 
Just in summary, Rock for Cash to beat Shiva, Herbert's only fans to beat the Overlords, Smooth Criminal beat Dark Side, the Browns to beat Moneymakers, LRG to beat the All Stars, Team Mazza to beat the Mongols, and Young Remix Killers to beat Little Waiters. So let's go and have a look at um, one of Cash's favourite things, the old Stardom Sidem. Uh, this is one of Cash's favourites, so let's just have a look. Quarterbacks, uh, they're talking about uh, starting Stafford, Burrow, Cousins and Wentz. Um, if you've got Russell Wilson, Tua Taluga Luga Lavua, Jameis Winston, Matt Ryan, piss them off, they're not going to do well. In the running back section, um, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, James Robinson, David Montgomery, Tony Pollard should do really well. Um, if you've got Singletary, Penny, Travis Etienne, and Chase Edmonds, <clears throat> give them a rest. Wide receivers this week Garrett Wilson, Drake London, Curtis Samuel, Jacoby Myers should start. And if you've got. Oh, they said Amari Cooper, Brandon Ayuk, Adam Thielen, and Darnell Moody. Moody, um, piss them off. Tight ends. There's a lot going on here on the fucking computer. These pop-ups keep coming up. Uh, Kyle Pitts, Tyler Higby, Gerald Everett, and Evan Ingram. Sit uh, Albert Okua Wan Banu Manamanan from Denver. Uh... Ajaya Likely, Cole Komet, and Taysom Hill. Well, we don't have to worry. None of those pricks are fucking on a side, so they can definitely sit them and sit them probably for the rest of the fucking year. Uh, kickers. Brian Suckup, Graham Garno, Matt Gayman, and Willie Lutz are the people to play. McManus, Hopkins, Crosby, and Joseph. Don't worry about those. And finally, the defences. Kansas City, Atlanta, Carolina, and Dallas should be played. The Colts, the Patriots, the Packers, and the Buccaneers should have a little bit of a break this week. So that's stardom sitting this week. Let's just have a look at what's actually going on in the NFL itself. Uh, today, we've got the Steelers up against the Browns. I'll probably go for the Browns in that one by about 12 points. Uh, in the late games on Monday, the Jaguars take on the Chargers at 6.05. The Rams and Cardinals, Falcons and Seahawks, Packers and Buccaneers are all at 6.25. The 10.20 game is the 49ers up against the Broncos. And finally, on the Tuesday, the Cowboys take on the Giants at 10.15 a.m. So there we have it, a preview of week three of the FNFL. Hope you all do well. As you can see, the Mighty Swannies are playing tomorrow in the grand final. I uh, don't think anyone here barracks for Geelong, so that's good. But uh, let's just hope that the Swannies can win their, uh, what would it be, their sixth flag um, and put to rest the fucking arrogant prick of a team that Geelong is. Uh, Cash is going to go for um, Swans by about seven points. First goal kicker will be Tommy Papley. Um, and uh, the Norm Smith medalist will be Luke Parker. So get on that. Probably pay about 10 to $12 that on sports bet or on points bet or TAB or wherever you want to put a fucking bet on. Be interested if anyone wants to put any comments down below. The... Uh, who they think is going to win the margin, the um, first goal, and the um, Norm Smith. Uh, anyone put some those in there and anyone gets that right, uh, the cash might have a little bit of a prize for them. So we'll just check next week. But knowing you pricks, you won't fucking do anything. So I don't know why I'm wasting my time even fucking offering it. Anyway, go the Swannies. Fuck the Cats. Go the Chiefs. Go the Cash. Bad luck, Shiva, and that's a cash out.